Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to overclock a um, laptop's graphics card. And the thing is, you don't want to touch the voltage on graphics cards integrated to the laptop because um, unless you have like pretty decent cooling or you have a gaming performance laptop, you could mess with the voltages, but I wouldn't go with that because you're going to lose battery life, your laptop's fan's going to heat like kill you with noise and it, you can't even put it on your lap at that point because it's just gonna get so hot when you're gaming um, I recommend use um, EVGA precision because on MSI afterburner the max the maximum is lower than what you can go on EVGA precision like you can just like you can go real high on precision but on MSI afterburner you can't go as high and it tells you it's it's pretty much like MSI Afterburner, but the limits are set higher. So, on the on this particular GPU I'm using, it's a NVIDIA 9400M. Um, so I can't really mess with the voltages because it doesn't let me. And I got it stable at these settings right here. And I just make sure, all right, so this is how you kind of want to do it. You want to go up by increments. You want to just mess with these sliders. Like you want to kind of go up by in increments, like small increments, maybe of 20 megahertz. And then you want to have a program that stresses your GPU. And you want to test if your graphics driver is um, like turns off, or you want to test if you see anything on the screen, or you want to test if the image is not clear. So I use, the free version of he um, Heaven, you can get it off um, Unigen's website. You want to like, uh, you just kind of like, you don't, you want to kind of test it like here. I don't want to go full screen, and I'll do just for you guys to see like that. And I'm pretty sure this computer can't handle antistropic filtering, so we'll turn that off and we'll go DirectX 10 depending on because this GPU is not the best but if you had a better one you could hire so then you want to run it after I cl click run it's gonna load and this stresses your GPU and CPU but it, it's more focused on the GPU and if you get any errors on the screen something pops up you're, you get a blue screen anything that means you want to back down the clocks a little bit um, if your driver for the uh, graphics crashes, then I recommend you um, restart your computer because I don't. It won't be running at the overclock settings. It'll be running slower. So you restart your computer if your driver crashes. It'll give you something up here and tell you your driver crashed. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll put links to download EVGA Precision and a link to download Haven. I mean Heaven. Um, you can also use Furmark which is also pretty stressful but I just I tend to use heaven because it's more of a real life scenario than like because Furmark is extremely synthetic which means it's ex like it it stresses like max but this is a little bit more realistic like this is something you'll see in a pretty good the game like you can run like a Metro 2033 benchmark that also is pretty realistic because you don't want to overstress your GPU to the point where it would crash even if you weren't overclocking it. Um, so as you see, I didn't get any warning. Usually you want to run this for 15 minutes and more, like 15 minutes and above because you want to make sure it's stable because you don't want to be playing a game and your computer crashes all around. So I don't see any effects or anything. There's no, everything looks good. It's laggy like I expected it to be, but... Um, that's something I just have to deal with because it's not the fastest graphics card. So, yeah. Um, so on EVGA, it will tell you the temperatures. If you didn't mess with the voltage, your temperature will stay the same because it's the voltage that messes your temperature up. You can see GPU usage and my core clock, it's running at what I have it at. And my shader, it's running at 1325, what I have it at. And my memory clock, it's running at 1680, as what I have it at. And you just kind of want to run it.
for a while and see how it goes. Um, you and they tell you the FPS here. You can test to see if there's a performance difference. Like this graphics card. Um, I forgot how to stop it. Is it? Yeah, here we go. Free camera. So looking at this dragon. I'm getting like 10 to 9 FPS and this graphics card comes at 450 stock but not everything is gonna actually adjust the performance so I could lower this to 450 and I could still be getting 10 to 9 and you don't want to mess with it while it's being stressed so my graphics driver might crash but this comes at 450 stock right here so that's where we're gonna go oh, sorry guys we're gonna apply that and you're gonna see here this is gonna go down to 450 and you notice how it just flickered to eight. It, so it's it's not performing. It's it's guaranteed right now. It's it's not even going back up to ten anymore. Like it's it's staying at nine to eight, and that's because it's running slower. And just like proof, if you were to run it like extremely low settings, yeah, it's gonna drop down to seven to six because it, the slower your card is running, the slower the graphics performance. But let's say I bring it all the way back up to what it was running at, 585, which is what I have stable. Everybody will get different scores because depending on your GPU, I'm going down right now, but it's going up because it's that laggy because my graphics is running so low. This you should, yeah. So I'm going to go back to 585 now. And again, it's lagging because of what my graphics is at, but I'll apply it and then just because my graphics are going to be performing better so that's just proof right there that overclock your graphics will make it go like will make your computer go faster you guys know what I'm saying um, well now my computer is acting up because I messed with the clock and I, I lowered it way too much there it applied it back and see how now it went back up to 10 FPS um, because it's running at a higher clock here as you see so now I'm gonna quit that and that that's all pretty much that's pretty much how to overclock your graphics card on a laptop I don't recommend to mess with your voltage all you need is this application um, check apply at Windows a startup and click apply and then just minimize close whatever you're using and you're good um, now your game should perform a little better depending on the game and the scaling. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you guys subscribe. Thanks.